Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Excellent, great to see you. Nice, nice. We're still missing a couple of people, right? Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to call you in a minute to tell me present. Twenty first, November twenty first. Adolfo Rivas present. Adolfo. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Okay. Ana? Yes. Ana. Brenda Alexandra? Claudia Guadalupe? Claudia Guadalupe? Cruz Antonio? Cruz Antonio, David Alexander. Present teacher, solo que todavía en el trabajo, teacher. Ok, David. José Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, hello. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mm -hmm. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. <coughs> Pedro Luis. Present teacher, present. Nice. Saul Edgardo. Saul. Sul Mayanet. Present. Victor. Victor, Victor. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. How are you doing? Fine? Teacher. Tell me. You didn't present mention teacher. me. Victor Argueta. Teacher of present and Brenda. Present, present teacher. Victor. Bye bye. I'm going to call the ones that. <laughs> okay. Adolfo? Sorry. Adolfo, Adriana Maria, um, Ana, Brenda Alexandra, present teacher, okay. Claudia Guadalupe, Claudia, Cruz Antonio, José Alfredo, Mauricio. Present teacher. Good evening. 
Temín, Saúl Edgardo, Presente. okay. Víctor, Present teacher. Fernando y Rosy, ¿verdad? Ah. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Pasha. Let's see. We are uh, beginning a new lesson, right? We are beginning unit number uh, three. I'm going to share with you. Okay, Pedro. Okay. Describe the fundamentals of warehouse management. Today we're talking about warehouse management. And check the objective. Participants will be able to describe the fundamentals of warehouse management. Okay, that's beginning unit number three. I have some questions for you about the weekend. This this time we're going to talk about the weekends. I know there were many things going on on the weekend, so you could have been a little bit busy watching different things, right? Or doing different activities, okay. So check first question. How was the weekend? What what did you what did you do yesterday morning? Um hello teacher, good evening for all. Hi, good evening. How, How are you? you? Fine. Fine, fine. Okay, good. Nice. Have you watched any of the matches of the World Cup? Next question. Which was no. your favorite? <laughs> no. no. No, I didn't. Why? Yeah, because I went this weekend, I went to Atem Antigua, Guatemala to the Flower Festival. Oh, I see. 22. Yeah. And I yeah, spent all my sure. weekend there. I told you weekend there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, somebody said teacher. Yeah, if if he has picture about the travel. Oh, do you have pictures of the trip? Yeah, I I found a a big a big Howard. A big Howard made with yellow and and purple flowers. Okay, why yellow and purple? Uh, because yellow is the natural color of the jaguar and purple because uh, uh, the jaguar has a, a little spot in in, their, in in his body, right? Okay. Do you wanna see? Yes. Let me. We want to see pictures. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to ask you to take turns asking the questions to other people, right? <coughs> so you can choose the question. You can see it on chat. Oh, wow. It was beautiful. <coughs> That's made of flowers. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like a Pasadena parade, but in this case is a statical a statuary or <coughs> image. That's beautiful. Yeah. Are you okay, teacher? Yeah, I guess so. It's allergy. Mm -hmm. 
it was raining a little bit when I came this afternoon. That really? Yeah, but water makes everything. <laughs> so I have to drink more water. Okay. Uh, you, have, um, you have to add, you have to add ginger. Ginger, yeah, some tea. Mm -hmm. But I don't have ginger. Okay. Yeah, I don't have. I have to get some. Vaya, let's see. Uh, Adolfo, choose one question and choose a person to answer that question. Really? Yes. Okay. How was your weekend? Who? Who? Who are you asking? Uh, yeah, but the, the first question. Any question. Any question. Let me see, the please. Any question you want. Let I... me see. We are 19 participants. I don't know, number seven in my list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Claudia is listening. Yeah, but she can speak. Claudia, no here, Claudia. Not but she not. put in okay. the chat. <clears throat> ah, yeah, they wrote only listener. Okay, another seven. Uh, Another Claudia, seven. Ocho, so after uh, Claudia, you can count seven more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Mauricio. Mauricio. Good evening, everyone. My weekend. Huh? Oh, my weekend was what? nice. Oh, really? Uh huh. What did you do? Uh, I don't you want stay, you to, stay at home stay, or you I, you went got out. I. What did you say, Mauricio? Hello. Uh, I don't want to do a, a, a specific answer because it's an answer to the or another question here. No problem. Because no problem. Will be answered by another. But that's okay, no problem. What's great, uh, I travel uh, to to Huayua in the in the afternoon to the Sunday. Oh, oh really? Yeah. What's nice the claim? On Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Was a little so cold. Sound great. Was it calling while you? Yeah. Because here was it. Here in San Salvador, it wasn't cold. It wasn't, yeah. It was no cold. Okay. Thank you, Mauricio. Mauricio, you choose another question and another person to answer that question. Victor, uh, have you watched any of the matches of the World Cup? Victor. Victor. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, I'm going to talk about that weekend. My weekend was tired. Was tiring? Why? So, because I went to Nueva Esparta, La Unión. One of my, the song of one of my, my friend uh, was, uh, I don't know how to say it. Got married. I was thinking about telling you that, you know. <laughs> was married, so I... I said, but getting married, okay. <laughs> yes, getting married. 
So I travel to Alberta. I I I drive. I drive for mm -hmm. seven hours. Only Where for is... only Where... for go. Esparta. Nueva Esparta is in La Unión Anamoros. Oh yeah, Anamoros. Yes. Oh. So far, my friend. So far. Seven <laughs> yeah. hours. So um so I I go to no new towns. I went to now new to no new towns. New pounds. New towns. New towns. You visited oh, okay. visit new towns. Yes. Hey, that's nice. What towns did you visit? Um Nueva Esparta, Poloros, Anamoros. Um, um I visit the San Miguel the city. Mm, okay. You have never visited the city of San Miguel? I know you work <clears throat> in San Miguel. Um I I I have visited I have been in San Miguel uh, previ uh, previous this travel but only for a few minutes not to walk in the city not not uh, stay in the park because you work in san miguel right victor no 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 i work in san salvador you don't work with carlita no yeah <gasps> what I don't know why I thought you were working with Carlita in San Miguel. <laughs> no, I don't know. Ah, no, uh, Carlita is the architect, yeah? Uh-huh. No, the Carli Carlita so, is working in the, in the bypass. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I thought you too. No, I uh, me not. Oh, imagine! I, <laughs> I really, I believe you were working in the same company. No, and were working in San Miguel, like Carlita. No. <laughs> okay. Y ya que mencionó a Carlita, vamos a dejar a Carlita que, que nos cuente de su fin de semana. Ajá, Carlita, what did you do on the weekend? I was working on weekend. Oh, this was the weekend that you're not free. No, I was working. Oh, so sorry to hear that. <laughs> But next weekend you will be off, right? Yes. And everybody will be working. Ha, ah, you see. <laughs> That's I will have one day more because today is uh, day off in San Miguel. Oh, really? Why? Because it's the, the las fiestas patronales. I don't know. Patronal. When, say, When? The fiestas patronales de San Miguel. When, when do they celebrate the patronal party of San Miguel? Patronal party. When? It's in Saturday, but the day is today. Ooh. But the carnival is Saturday. Next Saturday. Yes. I see, I see. Wow, I didn't know. I thought, well, yeah, I know it. The thing is that, believe me, I'm lost in time. <laughs> I I know, yeah, I know the carnival is in, in November, but I, I thought it was like Friday, but November is about to finish. Okay. And today is the off, but I, we have to work too. <laughs> oh. So next weekend, when it is the carnival, you will be free to be go. Sure. Yes. Be sure. Tell me. Do, do you go to the carnival sometime? No, no. 
Never. No yet. No, no, no. I I working. <laughs> working. It and is you, you must be. Too many people for me. Too many people. I will stay home. Well, I never go, really. Have you ever gone to the carnival? No, because it's uh, too far. far for me. Yeah, for me too. I, I live opposite to, to San Miguel. Where do you live? Sonsonate. Yeah. You yeah. live in the middle to the yeah. travel. It's about three, four hours, I guess, of trip. Me, yes, uh, teacher, but I have three times in in San, in 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 the in the party in the last three three years, but I I go to my house. So you haven't stayed in the in the carnival? No. Okay. I prefer go to my house. Yeah. Yeah, so you can take advantage of the day off, right? Yes. Okay, Carlita, now is your turn to choose another question and another person to ask. I asked Jose Alberto Baños. Jose Alberto. Have you watched any of the match of the World Cup? Hi. Uh, no. I couldn't watch any matches go to in uh Yesterday, I I was playing with my daughter. She uh, elite the series oh. on Netflix and this the the sixth uh, temporada. No sé cómo se dice temporada. Uh, and we season. Back, season yes season the, right the season. And we stay at home, see also the movie, the, the series. You and saw the, but you didn't, you didn't finish a season, right? Yes. How many? Uh, and only eight, uh, eight, uh, eight chapters. Eight chapters for season. Eight chapters for season. Like, well, in this season, only six or only eight chapters, and uh, we uh, on Saturday in the night mm -hmm. uh, we watch watch uh, four, <laughs> and the month and what? the Sunday four the, chapters the or four seasons. No, four chapters. Okay. And uh, in in the Sunday. Uh, uh, we saw the other, the there other are, four. There are, there are a new season. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I um, like the season. I I always saw with my daughter. <laughs> so uh, I can see the I can see the 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 the, the match, and today. You were working. Only work. Only work. All day. And the and the match in, in the four a.m. is it's so early. <laughs> I can't stay <laughs> awake in, 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 in the four a.m. for see uh, the match. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I said if there is one at four a.m. I'm going to wake up and see it. But today, <laughs> no. Yeah, I work. I woke up at about five uh, thirty, something like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wake up uh, just to take a shower to prepare breakfast and to go to school. So no. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you can lose lose uh, uh, twenty minutes is 
Oh, yeah. It's a disaster for all day. And the rest of the day, I didn't even have time to check who won, who played on it. Uh -huh. So maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> so this one definitely no. In the, in the next weekend, please. On the weekend. Four, four games, I think. On Saturday afternoon, because the morning oh. I work too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Alberto, one last question and one last person to answer. One last question. Uh, oh, did you watch any interesting movie on the weekend for... Uh, let me see. Bien poquito, veo yo. Ajá. Ajá. La para, para no perder la costumbre. <laughs> ya me está riendo. <laughs> Hola, Rosy. I know. <laughs> okay. I don't watch it, any interesting movie on the weekend. I went to Guayua all day. Oh. <clears throat> yes. You were yeah, you too. Yeah. I don't listen. You were near Mauricio. Yes, Mauricio. I got the Sunday. Mauricio was in attack. No, no, I, I went to Portezuelo. Portezuelo. Oh, Portezuelo. It's yes. a nice place. Yes, beautiful place. Yeah, of what, course. What can you see there? Uh, uh, it's a farm. With many entertainments with extreme extreme games. Oh, that's nice. Yes. This place family. How is familiar? Teacher? A family place. A family place. Yes. To take the children to run. <laughs> yes. Yes. Had that. And, uh, the day it's like, oh, I'm dying, right? So they get. You can do is. Uh... Or riding este to to ride a horse. Oh, yes. Yeah. Horseback yeah. riding. Horseback. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Rosie, did, did you play in the in the in the big gloves? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. It's amazing. Yes. I uh, my son. And my son, este, ay, como es el teacher, se lo pasó llevando esa bola. <laughs> really? Was, was, it, was, it was crushed. Was she was crushed by the big? My okay. Oh my goodness! I sharing picture. Okay. Okay, good. But you had fun at the end, right? That's. that's <laughs> That's the idea that you had fun on the weekend. I was busy on the weekend too, very busy. Okay, nice. A ver pictures, dice Rosy. Pictures, oh, good. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. like, like volleyball with a very big ball. Yes. Yeah. Um, como digo, que había mucho viento. It was very windy. Yeah, windy. Very windy. Yeah. Mm. This is my difficult. Yeah, because I imagine the ball was there. Difficult to, to, to move it and to throw it wherever you wanted because of the... Yeah, of the and who, who won the play, the play, the game? Did Repeat, you win, please. Did huh? you win the game? Yeah. Who won? He it's, said. Uh -huh. Winner or loser in in your in your game? Winner. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Congratulations. Winner. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Great. 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 Fantastic. Okay, that was refreshing. The weekend, right? If you had a nice, nice weekend. 
Excellent. I see you have time. Now, let's see. Let's go to the questions of the class. We have, what would happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Remember in the previous unit, we were talking about warehousing, right? We were talking about how uh, the companies hire another company as a, as a third party to keep their products or to transport their products. But now, what about what? do you think would happen if the warehouse of a very big company reaches its maximum capacity? So that means that they have gotten more clients than the ones that they can cover, right? And the next question, how would avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? Let's add a you here. We're missing a you. How would you How would you avoid? How would you avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? Overcrowding. What does it mean? Overcrowding. A lot of people. A, a lot of things. A lot of product. Yeah. Over. Exactly. Over. Overcrowding. That means crowding more, 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 more than the necessary. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. Here we are on the manual page 25. Page 25, activity one. So you go to page 25 and discuss the questions with your partners. I'm going to share, I'm going to send you to groups. Okay. Let me see, we have Jose Alfredo, Pedro and Claudia. Okay. Three listeners, right? Okay, there you go. Join the group, discuss the two questions, and be ready to cheer. Victor, Victor, join. Adriana Maria. Your sound, right? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Okay. okay. What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches in its maximum capacity? Capacity. Capacity. Yeah. What will happen? What will happen in the warehouse of a very busy company reaches maximum capacity? How would we, uh, how would avoid overcrowding mm -hmm. in a warehouse? Okay, the first question. What do you think about? I think maybe check inventory, maybe. Yeah. What will uh, happen if the warehouse is a very busy busy company reach its maximum capacity? Uh, probably when the the manager of 
of the warehouse don't have a, a control methods, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or example, for example, if if you if you reach uh, if you reach near to the warehouse capacity. Uh, capacity uh, you have a problem with the um i don't know how to say uh, vencimiento de producto uh lasting lasting oh, products lasting. Yeah. Okay, product. yeah you 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 have the risk to 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 have a a lot of quantity of the products uh -huh. but remember that well this product can belong to or not to the company. Uh, yes, okay, okay, yeah. But I I don't know, I don't let's understand. Suppose that, let's suppose that yes, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, but what will happen if the warehouse of a very busy, busy company reach its maximum capacity? Um, what would you do? Yeah. What would you do? Imagine yeah. you are the manager. Uh huh. Call the manager and I don't know. They need to try to to take another strategy to to sell the product, right? Or review product sales, for example. Or review the yeah the production process. Yeah, uh -huh. maybe. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's going on with the manager? Right? Where is yeah. the manager? Where and is the manager? Where is the where is the the control the controls or uh, mm -hmm. control methods? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be, to verify the inventory, right? Uh huh. Why haven't they noticed? Why haven't they noticed? They knowledge uh -huh. why haven't they noticed that there is a lot of product uh, yeah yeah i understand yeah uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay and the second one <coughs> how would avoid the overcrow overcrowding in a warehouse how uh -huh. would avoid um a boy. The the fir the the first thing or that? evitar. Yeah, avoid evitar. Yeah. Um you have to you have to implement or you have to development a uh, uh, quickly sales strategy. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the unique way because and the the objective or the aim of the company is to to sell something, right? To sell the products. A strategy to ev evict the products, maybe. To to avoid. Or to to okay? To evict or evict desalojar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible, but in this case. Uh, the unique and success and success way and successful way is to sell the products. Yes, implement promotion, discount. Yeah. Okay, of course. Yes. In my company, this. Eso sería. That yeah. The solution. You work yes. in the drugstore, right? Yes. Pharmacy. Are you? Are you uh, uh, okay, sorry. Are you a uh, a nurse? No, I'm person. She's manager. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, uh, what will he have? What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches maximum capacity? 
Okay, and how would avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? Yeah, yeah, in the first question, uh, I am sure that uh, the sell, the sales manager is is filing. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Who's being? Hi. You finished. What will yes, happen? Uh -huh. We're supposed to discuss the, the questions, right? Exactly. Okay, sí. Yeah, finished. Okay. Nice. Vaya, pues, just I'm going to check one more, more group and I take you out. Uy, Ana, Saul, eh, ra, eh, Victor se perdió. Anda todavía en, en, en la unión. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, let's go. Almost here. Okay, I guess everybody here, right? Now, check first question. What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum? What will happen? Uh -huh. Don't be able to receive new product. They won't be able. Right, or they wouldn't be able to, to receive anything, anything at all, right? Okay. And how would you avoid that situation? How? What would normal you? Teacher, what? No, normally, um? normally you, you must to have a big control to the, all the product. Uh, in the in the case the the most older you must to uh, you must to deliver mm -hmm. and and normally when when a client or a customer don't uh, move their their no don't move their product they will be pay a a, a extra. Okay, so in, uh, supposing that this warehouse is full because the company is serving as a third party and it's keeping product from somebody else, right? In that case, mm -hmm, that would be a solution. So if you want to continue keeping your product here, you pay extra, but, but the company should know how much product they have kept. Normally, teacher, that, that is the uh, normal scenario because um, more, almost the, the company don't uh, build a uh, owner warehouse. Mm -hmm. They use rent. Exactly. 
use the use the big company like the supermarket or or something like that they build they own warehouse and the rest they rent they rent a warehouse okay so how would you avoid overcrowding in a warehouse how would you avoid that Overcrowding. Overcrowding is crowding more than the deposit. Yeah. That means that you that you keep more products than the ones you can. More than the ones that fit. Uh -huh. Having good process teacher. Mm -hmm. The process, right? So then, because if, uh -huh. if you know how how many how much space do you have, how much product do you have, you are not going to make those mistakes. Uh, you have how much you can get in your a uh, warehouse mm -hmm. or no exactly so uh, there are two things here right one if you if the warehouse that you had as you're a very big company but you're using this warehouse to rent it and you rent it to other people to keep their product so in that case you definitely have to be very sure of how much space you have or tell people, hey, come on, I cannot keep more because we're about to, to be full, right? But what about if as one of the groups I was observing was saying, it is the company, the company is very big, produces a lot of products, and they keep their own products, no products of anybody else. They keep their own products in the warehouse. So you're not renting, right? It's your products in your warehouse only, but it is to the maximum capacity. What would you do to avoid overcrowding in that case? Uh -huh. Alberto? Mm. Oh, it's, I, I think it depends mm -hmm. because uh, if you are thinking of uh, of growing up in your company and you have a planning you can uh, be sure uh, you don't make, uh, make a mistake in 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 the in the ah uh, oh or tener el 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 overcrowding have a, a, a an overcrowding in, in your warehouse but if you ah uh, pass in a moment uh, when you have um Come on, what's it? And and if you have an, a specific uh, event, and in this moment you have an overcrowding, uh, it's only for a moment. It's only for a a a, a period. Mm -hmm. I think is 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 depend and the for the planning in the company, for the. Uh, growing up with you you want and the event or 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 uh, can be a, a rebound mm -hmm. in in a sales and is is i don't know is 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 uh, something uh, inusual <laughs> unusual uh -huh. okay but remember, uh, keep an inventory. 
right? Mm -hmm. Be sure of what is the stock that you have in your warehouse. So you do not suffer an overcrowding. Something that Mauricio was saying, watch out that you're not keeping the old product behind because the, the new one is at the front. And at the end, at the end, what may happen is that the product that you have there that is all will go due the date and it won't be useful anymore, right? So that is a, a problem when you, when a company overcrowds, that later on they look, they lose the control of what they have because they start putting things wherever they can fit. Uh -huh, so that's something very important, right? Okay, let's go to the conversation. Let's see the situation here. But before, check. I was I want to to introduce to you a couple of words here. You have over and under, right? These are prefixes. As you saw in the previous one, we saw over crowding. That's crowding more than the possible. And that is excessive. When we say over, means excessively or too much. Excessively or too much. You say over, right? Over is a prefix. And if you see the word crowding exists, right? So we add the word over before to means crowding, yeah, but over. So crowding too much. That means having too many products. We're not talking about people here, right? We're talking about products in the in the warehouse. Look at the example. The airport cell, my suitcase is overweight. It means it weighs too much. It weighs more than 50 pounds. So you have to pay extra, right? So the suitcase, so my suitcase is overweight. It weighs too much. So it weighs, it weighs in an excessive way. And then we have the opposite of over, that's under. It is used as a prefix to mean below or not enough. This steak is undercooked. That means it is not cooked enough. It is not well cooked. So in the company, we can have any of the two problems. That it is overcrowded or that it is undercrowded. So we have the big warehouse empty, right? Empty with not enough product. You see the difference between over and under? Yes? Now check. We have here some examples. Over, remember, we said it's excessively or too much. And under means below or not enough, right? So you have overweight, weight too much as an adjective, right? Overconfident, be excessively confident or be too confident. You can also use over with a verb, not just with an adjective, right? Like, for example, when you say over it, that means you eat too much. Oh, no, I have a stomachache, I over ate. That means I ate too much. On the other side, you have under. Under below the surface of the water. That's another meaning, right? Under water, remember under is below or not enough. So below. So you can use it not just to talk about quantity, right? So you say if you are under water, you are below the surface of the water. Yeah. If something is undercooked. It's not cooked enough, yeah? It needs to be cooked a little bit more. Right. Underqualified 
not having enough qualifications. So if somebody is underqualified, that person doesn't have enough qualifications. Or you go to a job interview and they can tell you, ah, oh, they, um, but you are overqualified for this job, right? Because you have too many qualifications, yeah? So it can be the, the, any of the two situations or overqualified that we hear, too qualified or underqualified, not having enough qualification. Okay, any questions there? No questions. No teacher, no question. Okay, no can, question, you, teacher. can you give me an example of a word using? Over or under? Um, overestimated, teacher. Overestimated, yeah. Estimated more than the necessary, right? Okay. Remember that you can use this word, uh, you can add over to verbs, to nouns, and to adjectives. Right? Yeah. So do any of them. And to show that something is too much or it was done more than that. For example, if you say overcook, to cook something too much. Over that is with a verb, right? Overcook. Hey, please don't overcook my meat. Don't cook it more than the necessary. Mm -hmm. Or if you have overachiever, overachiever is someone who tries too hard to be successful at work. Yeah, that's a noun. An achiever or overachiever, someone who tries too hard to be successful at work. And then you can also use it as an adjective. You already saw different examples with adjective. Over a rated, rated too much or too high. If your luggage is too heavy when you weigh it at the airport, your bags are overweight. And the same overweight is an adjective. Any question here so far? Remember, if we say over, that is too much or excessive, excessively. Questions? No teacher. Okay, perfect. No teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Everything is clear. Nice. Now, let's go to the conversation. Pay attention to the conversation here. Okay. I'm going to move you. Okay, Rose and Nat are discussing storage problems and they are facing at the warehouse where they hold their shipments. Now let's read the conversation, right? Okay. Here, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left living, lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, here. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, so you see, this was, uh, um, in the context we were checking on overcrowding of the warehouse, it's because the people who are offering the, the outsourcing have outsourced too much, right? So they have over outsourced the warehouse. Okay, now repeat after me. Sir, we just received a call, oops. Give me a second. We will make a pause here. Um, hmm. 
be and attendance. It's time to attendance. Time for attendance, yes. Let's see, before we forget, it's exactly nine. Adolfo? Present teacher. Adriana Maria? Adriana. Teacher. Present. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Adriana Sofia? Present teacher. Ana? Present teacher. Hoy las tres están igual, hablando igual, ve. Hasta Ana. <ríe> Andan ronquitas. En la moda. En la moda. De fashion, fashion. Brenda Alexandra. Present teacher. Ok, Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe. No está. Cruz Antonio. Presente. David. Presente, teacher. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. Presente, teacher. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Presente. Carla. Presente, teacher. José Carla León. <risa> Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. Sorry. Eh, Bless you, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Sulma. Sulma. Present. Victor. Present, teacher. Victor. Victor, Victor. Present. Okay. Fernando. Present teacher. And Rosy. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo no here. <coughs> Jose Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Jose Alfredo no here. No. Ok. Ah, por ahí está. Okay. Bueno. Let's see. Let's continue. We are talking with, with the conversation, right? Okay, repeat after me. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. Sir, Sir, we, Sir. Just we just received a call from the warehouse. We just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today. The last shipment arrived today. today. And it seems they don't have more space to store our products. And it seems, it seems they, don't, they have don't have more space, space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. That is that a is very expensive, expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left li lying anywhere. Our product will get damaged if they are, they are lying, lying anywhere. Lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
They asked if we had some other warehouse. They asked if, they asked if we had some asked. other warehouse we could use. Other warehouse I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, one more time. Seer, but now I'm Rose and you're Matt. Seer, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. There is a very product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, here they asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the ready to outsource the shipment to a temporal warehouse. It's costly, but the product comes first. Okay, now you are Rose and Matt. Go ahead. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. Last shipment arrived today, and it seems that they have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. They they are, are, we have some have other some warehouse. warehouse we could use. We could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, okay well, Matt. now check. Okay. I'm going to send you to the groups for you to practice the conversation and then practice the conversation and answer these three questions. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? What could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? And what does Matt do about the problem? Okay, but shut. There we go. This will be pairs because it's a conversation, the one you will practice. I'm just moving the people who are not here so they stay in a trio, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think, well, anyway, I'm going to be watching you if somebody's alone to move somebody else. Okay, there you go. Remember, read the conversation together and then answer the questions, right? Join, join, join. Paul Edgardo.
Saúl, Saúl. Hi, hi, David. Fernando's here. Hi, hi, teacher. Hi. David ya llegó, no, usted todavía va de camino, ¿verdad? You're working. Ya casi llego, teacher, ya casi llego. Ah, va. Ah, pues le voy a traer a alguien más para que practique Fernando. Let's see. Let's go. Vaya, Fernando, join the other group in YouTube, Pedro. Hi, okay. Yes. Because yes. you said, sir. Rose and Matt. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We are going to practice. No, it's okay. And uh, you're gonna be Rose and I'm going to be Matt. Okay. Just just give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, hi. 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 Okay. Okay, I'm Rose. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. Sir, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will got the, I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay. Uh, again, okay. I am going to be Rose. Rose. Come back. Sir. We just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't. Then they have more space to store our products. What could happen? Oh, yes. What could Here. happen? Uh, the product will get damaged. The... Uh, that is very expensive shipment. Your product will get damaged if you left lying anywhere. What could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, the product could be damaged. Or be. Okay. What does Matt do about the problem? Um, he, he is, he, he, I will get the documents ready to outsource the sheet shipment to a temporary. Oh, oh. Um, uh, no, um, ¿cómo sería? She will. Uh, she will. Uh, Hi. A temporal warehouse. A, a temporal. Temporary warehouse. Temporary warehouse. Warehouse.
don't have more uh, space more space or sufficient space i think so or not enough space something like that don't have enough space yeah don't have I don't know is don't have or doesn't have enough, but no problem. Don't have the company don't have enough. The company it's, doesn't have doesn't have Adolfo. Doesn't have, right? Yes. The company the, doesn't yeah. have enough space. Yeah, for storage or storage. A space to a storage or for a storage yeah what could happen to the shipment if it yeah. is not carefully storage sir you can we can use certainty the product will be damaged or certainty the company will lose the products, right? By damage. Mm -hmm. The company will lose. Will lose, yeah. Lose. Lose. Certainty the company will will lose. Uh, lose. Lose. L L O O double O yeah double O double O yeah the products uh, about or uh, caused by damage What does Matt about the problem? What does Matt do? Um, um, Matt, uh, Matt have to look for another temporal warehouse, right? Has to look. Okay. Yeah. To look for another temporal warehouse. Uh, Matt arranged the transportation to a different warehouse. Matt. All right. Arrange, 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 uh -huh. arrange. Arrange transportation, right? See, sí. the transportation. The transportation. To a different warehouse. Uh -huh. 
Doble F. Double X. Double F. Okay. Sorry, puedo contestar una llamada de trabajo. We are done. Okay, thank you. How are you doing? About to finish. I think we we already finished, teacher. Okay. Vamos, pues. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. One minute, one second. <laughs> one minute. Okay, Vasha. There we go. Let's see. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Two volunteers. I want to be one. Me, me teacher. Okay, Mimi, I got Fernando and Carla. Nubia. 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 Okay. Vaya, Fernando. I am Rose. I am Rose. Okay. <laughs> Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Or product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. Okay, I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. If it, it's costly, but the product comes first. Okay. Okay, very good. Now okay, let's... now I will be Rose. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. Come on, Matt. Matt. <laughs> we lost Matt. Se perdió Matt. Matt, Matt. Nubia, Matt. Perdón, es que toque. Se me se me cuadró el registro. That is very expensive treatment. Our products will get dash if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a dif different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the doc documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product products come first. Okay, the product comes first. Yeah, 
in this moment when you already have the product, it's better to pay more for the warehouse than to lose the product, right? Because that would be more terrible. Okay, let's see. Number one, what happened to Matt's current warehouse? What happened to Matt's current warehouse? Mm -hmm. The company doesn't have enough space for storage. Yes, that's terrible. What could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? What could happen to the shipment if it is not per uh, carefully stored? It could be damaged. The product could be suffered uh, damage caused by lying anywhere. Uh, bad storage, practically. Okay. Imagine if it's not stored carefully. All the product. The company will lose the product. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine how much money they have invested in that product? Right? That's, it's a big problem yeah because they said that the product is very delicate and it's expensive right okay getting another warehouse will be costly but losing the product is worst mm -hmm. okay what does matt do about the problem what does matt do about the problem Uh -huh. He must outsource the shipment in a temporary warehouse, did you? Exactly. He will take the product to a temporary warehouse. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Any question, chicos? No question. No, no question, teacher. Nice. But check. We are beginning, right? We're beginning with new units. So we have new vocabulary that I want you to check before we enter completely to the unit. We have one holding warehouse, two distribution center, cross docking center, warehouse management and stock control. I know these words are not new, right? They are not new because we have been using them before. But anyway, we need to check what they mean so uh, the rest of the of the life is easier. I'm going to send you to to the small groups. I'm going to, to stop sharing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share. this in the in the chat i stopped sharing right <laughs> yeah okay um, hmm. i check the words check them there in the chat so we have holding warehouse distributing distribution center cross docking center warehouse management and stock control what you're going to do right now is go together to the room check the meaning of these words discuss with your partners what you know search the net and find out what each of those words mean i'm going to give you a couple of minutes i'm going to be watching you right and checking if you have any questions we're going to do smaller groups now. Yeah. Well, no, bigger groups, less groups. Let's see. Jose Alberto Cruz Brenda. Okay. Pasha. 
I guess everybody is in groups more than three. All right, there you go. Join, 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 check the words. And then we will check together. Join. Mm -hmm. Join Jose Alfredo. say oh, okay yeah only you okay. and me only you and me victor uh is here rose oh really yeah okay rose sorry. welcome sorry <laughs> okay that's right okay, okay now can you share What page? Yeah. The 25, right, teacher? Yes. No, but 20. the vocabulary I sent. Uh, yeah, on chat. It's on the chat. On WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Let me see. Uh, Microsoft. Uh, I don't have that picture. Let me to let me do an scream. Okay. Oh my chat. Okay, let me. Now. Okay, now in my Zoom. Okay. Picture. I'm right here. Okay. okay. Now? Okay, can, now I, can you see? I'm watching. Okay. Okay, we are talking about, we are talking the skills and to find the correct, me, the, the, the correct meaning of the each word, right? Right. Okay. Holding, holding warehouse. Holding warehouse. Um, holding. Uh -huh. Center. Distribution center. Okay. Sí. Uh, cross docking. This is repeat. 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 And. Okay. I'm going to check for holding warehouse and stock control. But I have that is uh, Warehousing. 
is the same like a holding warehouse. I have similar definition. And the holding warehouse con? Warehousing. It's an intermediate step in. I sent you the. Vaya, listen, listen. No estamos en el libro. I sent you ah. the chat because I want you to investigate the vocabulary on your side first before we go to the book. Yeah. Okay. We'll get you wrong. Ah. We investigate them on the book. <laughs> <laughs> Don't investigate on the book. <laughs> I, I was reading in the internet, but the, 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 the information, the, there is a lot of information, so I can't uh, take a definition. It is usually at the beginning, Anna. Okay. Sophie, could you share again the 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 words that the teacher said in the chat the WhatsApp. Okay, is it? Is it? Is it? holding warehouse. Complete over the the basic programs. Holding warehouse teacher could be a complete overview of Rested. all the warehouse management terms. No. Yeah. Read the definition again. A holding warehouse. A complete overview of all the basic warehouse management terms or repeated events for stock holding. For stock? Where stock holding. Ah, mira, aquí me sale ese stock control. Safety stock control. Mm -hmm. Remember. Uh -huh. What is the word holding? basic warehouse terms.
Oh, my Janet, hello. How are you doing? How are we you? find two words. Okay. Stop on No. Are you working together? Yes. But I don't hear you. Oops. My battery is low. We are we are looking for the words separate. Um, Jose, Jose's your name. Yes. <laughs> Jose Arnoldo is looking for two words. I am in, I'm are looking for the other two. But remember that the idea is that you share and discuss together, right? Ah, okay. We are looking first and after we we are going to to discuss. To discuss. I'm going to share the screen. Uh -huh. Action. The best example for uh, holding for for holding warehouse could be that uh, San Bartolo. San Bartolo. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. <clears throat> Teacher, you send me other groups. I know. Ah, really? It was a group. <laughs> Because I need that you discuss as a group. Ah, okay. That's why I move. I moved you. <clears throat> Aquí dice about the distribution center. A distribution center for a set of products is a warehouse or other specialized. A specialized building. A specialized building. Specialized mm -hmm. building, often with refrigeration or air conditioning, which is stock. Let me get in large. Yeah. The demand is high. All right. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Okay. We discussed the questions. Did you check the vocabulary all? Yes. So. Ready. Ready. Okay. Nice, nice. That's a plus. Let's go. Let's go one minute. Okay. Ah.
Vamos a ver. I forget that I are right mute. Okay, let's see. Tech. Oh, okay, everybody here. Nice, nice. Vamos a ver. What is a holding warehouse? What is it? Mm. In your own words? It's a big warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a big warehouse. What, what, what does it do? Warehouse. This is uh, the most difficult and uh, in the group we we as o sea no encontramos una definición. We don't have a sure definition for this. Okay, but it, anybody found a definition of yeah. warehouse? Holding uh -huh. warehouse. Uh -huh. It's like a warehousing. A warehouse. It's like a capacity, and you have you have to to many options to to warehouse, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, when you talk about the fun financial area and you have a holding um, mean that you have you have three four five companies uh, together uh, working in the in the same direction or same business right okay uh -huh. what about the next one Next, we have distribution center. What is distribution center? It's a location since, since you supply the client with product or service. Uh -huh. Remember, we have been talking about the distribution center before, right? In the in the previous uh, lesson. Yeah. Okay. What about cross docking center? We mentioned it last week. The cross docking. Cross docking center. What is it? Uh, for me, teacher, a cross docking center, uh, it's when the inbound product comes from the trucks mm -hmm. and then yeah. pass to the outbound trucks. Okay, exactly. That's the definition. What is warehouse management? Warehouse. Uh huh. And it's an activity to to hand uh, all the process in warehouse, for example, inventory or condition of storage, and in another in another uh, activities, right? Like the rotation of the product. What is a, a, a label? Yeah. What is the difference between warehouse management and stock control? Okay, the difference is that warehouse management is the control in all operation in the day-to-day -day in, in a warehouse until instead the stock control is like the same word that the that, that, that word said control of an inbound an outbound, an outbound of the products. Like in Spanish, control the inventarios. That's the stock control. Yes. Okay. Yes. The inventory controller. Exactly. Check. Check. Now you can look at your manual, right? Check the, the warehouse management 
is the control of the day to day. So that's what the control you're keeping every single day uh, of the day to day operations of a warehouse. Such as the shipping, the receiving, the put away, and the picking of goods. So all all those things. Remember, at the beginning, we were saying uh, we were talking about overcrowding the warehouse, right? And that happens when a company has a bad warehouse management. So they don't check. They don't. Uh, they don't control the day to day. Have you seen, I don't know if you have noticed, when you go shopping to any small store that do not keep an invoice, but they are trying to keep a control of what they have and what they have sold, that they are writing in a notebook. They sell a shirt and they write one shirt, one black shirt two pairs of sandals and they are writing every single thing. That's a, of course, that's not used anymore, right? It's it's not the way, the right way of, of keeping that control. That That's a way a small company can keep a control of the day-to-day -day operation. And in the case of the warehouse, you have to know about the shipping who's getting, the shipping who's living, that is living, right? So if there is uh, some product entering the warehouse, you should know the products entering, the products going out. What products you are receiving, what products you're putting away. Remember put away we said, it's when you're sending the product out, out, of, the, out of the warehouse, right? and the picking of wool. So you have to, to have a control of a day to day. But when we talk about the stock control, that is the inventory. It's a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and the effectiveness of, of warehouse operations. So if, you if you're talking about the warehouse management, they have to check that the warehouse operates perfectly. That remember last week, we well, the previous week also, we were talking about uh, getting trucks coming at the same time to, to different products and having a lot of uh, trucks in the middle entering with different products so one truck coming entering and another leaving that's a mess and that is responsibility of the warehouse management that that doesn't happen right so deficiency that's for the warehouse right they have to 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 check that the warehouse is operating perfectly so they have the inventory right, so you don't overcrowd. Also, that every everything that happens in the warehouse moves in a very efficient way. Efficient and effective. It's not the same, right? Efficient and effective. And the stock control is more related to the inventory. So I know how many uh, televisions I have in my warehouse. I know exactly how many radios or how many washing machines, right? Yeah. So no, because I have main numbers. So they can go like a little bit connected because here it tells me what things have entered, have what things have gone out, but the other tells me what I have. The stock control tells me what exactly I have. If you don't know what you have, you may be buying things that you have and not buying things that you need, right? That's why this is very important. Now, check. It says, read the definitions below and match the examples to the corresponding term. 
check what examples of examples of what they are. It tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. What is that? It's water warehouse management or stock control. Warehouse management teacher. This is warehouse management, exactly. And the second one, it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. It's the control. That's a stock control. Great. Yo le di copia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see the last three uh, words to, to, to match. You have a holding warehouse, distribution center, and cross docking center. Which, oh, better me get the mouse and the logo. Okay, but what is holding warehouse? Uh, for me, holding it, warehouse, it comes, uh, it's traditional warehouse whose space is used for a temporal and long-term storage. Mm -hmm. In easy way, it comes a, a traditional warehouse, right? Yeah, that's a traditional warehouse. We have to read, we have to read the definition, your definition? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's a distribution center? A tradition, uh, traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. That's holding warehouse. Oh, yes. Excuse me. Yeah. Let uh, me see. Fusion center. Uh, it's um, In the first one. It can be yeah. named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. That's cross-docking yeah. cross center, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You receive directly by us. Okay. And the distribution center? The last one, it serves a large share larger regions and goods are stored short short time mm -hmm. most of it most, most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders okay do you all agree with that according to what you investigated Um, yes. It's similar, the meaning yes. is similar. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Ify. 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 <laughs> Ify. Mm -hmm. What is the holding warehouse? It's a traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term long -term storage. What is a distribution center? It serves large, larger regions and good are stored shorter time. Most of it's used for picking and consolidation orders. Mm -hmm. What is cross docking center? Okay, somebody else, another one. A ver, cross docking center. It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. Exactly, receiving and shipping, right? No storage. We receive it and we ship it to another side but it doesn't go to the warehouse. Any questions there? Questions? No questions? Not at the moment. 
we yeah. are waiting the attendance only. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's not my teacher. We it's not teacher. Say. It's a joke. I I yeah. will I would like to continue all the night receiving the class. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're sure. Okay. I'm joking. Um? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, el primero dice, he, wa he want to be the first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Adolfo, present. Present. See you tomorrow. See you, Adriana Maria. Present, teacher. Adriana Sofía. Se perdió Sofi. Ana. Present, teacher. Present. Brenda. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. No está Claudita, ¿verdad? She said... Teacher. Hola. Se descargaron mis audífonos, pero dije present. Sí, allá la vi bien lejos. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. La ah. A ver. Eh, Cruz. Present. David. Present, teacher. Eh, José Alberto. Present, teacher. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Nubia. No voy a hacer Present teacher. Amigo. Present. Me habló. Me habló, teacher. Sí, que hoy se queda conmigo. ¿Yo? Sí, sí, yo. Ok. Yuyu. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Present. Tomorrow, Pedro Luis. Yes, yes, teacher. Tomorrow. Saúl Edgardo. Present. Ulma. Present. Victor. Present, teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present and good night for all. Good night, Rosy. <coughs> Present, teacher. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Good evening, everybody. No, good night. I say good night. Sí, good night, chicos. Ya a dormir, vamos. Mm -hmm. Hoy sí, good night. Bye bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. bye bye. Take care. Take care. Take care. <coughs> mm -hmm. How are you, Nubia? Hi, yeah. teacher. <laughs> Ay, que me da risa porque el viernes creo que me quedé dormida también igual que, que Ana. <risa> Ay, no. Y cuando desperté solo oí que ella dice, yo esperando que me llamara para decir pres. <risa> y oigo que dice, ay, teacher, disculpe, me quedé dormida. Ah, pues yo. <risa> And then you say, oh, no. yeah, that happens. Friday. Friday is really, really, really tiring, right? Because yes, it's like yes. the last, ay, the last day of the week, the accumulation and everything uh, of everything. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes, Friday is very, very hard. Yes, yeah. I. I had a um, flu the last week and I take a medicine. The medicine uh, gives me a more uh, uh, sueño. Makes you feel sleepy. Yes. It makes you feel, yes, definitely. Definitely it, that is when you drink uh, when you take some medicine, it's like yes, 
Only. In my case, I don't uh, take a uh, more medicine. Only <laughs> that uh, thy thyroid thyroidis or the thyroidis mm -hmm. tiroxina. Yes. The ciento cincuenta. That's a lot. Sí. Sí. How many pills? One. Uh, <clears throat> it's a, um, in theory, it should be one. But as social, social security gives me a, a medicine that 100 grams. So you have to take one and a half. Yes. Ah, but at least it's, it's the quantity that mm -hmm. you so it's it's like drinking like taking only one yes mm -hmm. you take two medicine no 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 i don't oh. take anything no i say it's like taking it's like taking one because you're taking exactly the the quantity that you need to mm -hmm. huh? but yeah of course it's it's not easy, right, to be taking medicine. My husband takes medicine. I don't, um, I don't take anything. But uh, sometimes I, well, I, there was a couple of years ago, I had to take pills for the allergy. And that was like every single day, I remember. <laughs> if no, I was sneezing all the time I just went out and I started sneezing I entered the classroom and I started sneezing wherever I went whatever I was doing I was sneezing that's why the doctor gave me uh, some pills right so mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to to take some antihistamine like that, chlorphenidamine <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a swing. yeah it does at the beginning I was like later on I got accustomed I got accustomed to to it and I could drink I could take it and I had no problem but uh, at the beginning yes I was <laughs> I was falling asleep Every time I, I <laughs> and now I'm, I don't take it anymore just in case I get allergy. When I take one, I'm like this, trying to have my eyes open. It's very difficult. <laughs> Are they allergic? No, no, not had a, a, a cura? Um, the thing is that I haven't gone to take the that thing that they make a lot of uh, that they put you injections and things like that. I don't want it's on, only only control. Yeah, no, 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 se cura, solo se controla. Uh -huh, exactly. So no, what for? So I better try to avoid what gives me allergy. But thanks, God, I have no allergy to my cat. <laughs> because yeah. I can have the cat and I have no problem with the cat. I, mm -hmm. I am not allergic to the cat. Mm -hmm. I can be allergic to whatever, but not to the cat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if no, imagine that would be very sad. Because I play a lot with it with the cat and, and she's always there trying to to catch people's attention and if I were allergic to the cat I wouldn't be able to play with her but no I'm not I'm allergic to to the dust and to some things but not to the cat she's there <laughs> she's in class only have a, a cat or dogs too? No, I don't like dogs. I ah. like I like dogs in pictures, 
but not to have one at home. They are too delicate. Yes. Cats are more independent, but dogs yes. not. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't yes. accept a dog on my bed. But the cat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the cat the dog is, is similar to uh, children in the house. That yeah. uh, it, it the food, the water, the showers. Well, we, we, bath, we bath the cats. Yes. We bath the cats. They, they take a shower. But it's like, it's not like- The cat take a shower. Yeah. My really? cat take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> we always bath them we always bath them so mm. yeah they like to take a shower oh. mm -hmm. el, el, el solo se baña o lo baña alguien mm, se baña solo pero nosotros también Ay, qué divertido mm, they like to take a shower <laughs> it's funny they are the cats yeah. they are shower they take a shower at least at least twice a month at least so they they really enjoy it <laughs> okay if I, if I have the two dogs don't you, like it. you have two dogs shower. Yes. Wow. Uh, a big and um, little. Ah, I like small dogs, but big ones, they control you completely. <laughs> yes, yes. I prefer a small one, but just to carry it a little bit, but not to have it all the time. That's, that's <laughs> more difficult to have a dog, I find. I don't know. Right. Yes. Bueno, Zulma, la dejo que vaya a descansar entonces. Zulma, le estoy okay. diciendo Zulema. <laughs> you no are... problem, teacher. See no you problem. tomorrow. Have a nice okay. day. Bye bye. See, see you too see tonight. You. See you. Take care. See you tomorrow, teacher. Mm -hmm.